What are you charged with, Lynette? Attempted assassination of the President of the United States. If you were to be found guilty of this offense, what penalties do you face? From a number of years to life imprisonment. Okay. So that's a pretty heavy offense that you're charged with. Yes. You have entered a plea, have you not? Yes, I did not get to plea. What would you estimate to be your percentage chance at this point of being found not guilty? I have already decided exactly what I intend to ask the jury for. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I should answer that. Mm -hmm. Well, most of us, when we enter into a situation of difficulty, have at least some kind of estimate going in the back of our mind how likely we are to be successful. Oh, I feel, I feel definitely that I have a probably a 70% chance, chance of being found not guilty. In, on the percentage scale. Okay, okay. I don't feel that I'll be convicted of uh, attempted assassination. Mm -hmm. But you think you may be convicted of something else that will lead to some prison time? That's right. Okay. Now, because I've made a statement like that, this tape recording is strictly between uh, you and me and the attorney and the U.S. attorney. How have you been feeling, generally? I feel pretty good. Are you bothered to any significant degree by anxiety, nervousness, tension? No. Never have been. Even under these circumstances? No. I make the best of any situation I'm in. The press has made a number of comments to the effect that you're a mm -hmm. rather daft broad mm -hmm. wandering about in this world following uh, ill-begotten causes and so forth. How do you feel about that? I'm working through it the mm. best way I can. I feel this trial conducted with a little bit of dignity would help tremendously. Mm -hmm. So you would look for your image to go up? Well, no, wait a minute. No. The, the judge has already stated that this is not a forum for me to express my views or for me to uh, do anything it, it, for my image, in other words. I'm mm -hmm. just saying that incidentally mm -hmm. that... You think your image would improve, though, by how you would conduct yourself in That's a court right. of law. How's your appetite been? Well, Doc, <laughs> the food here is not... Leave something to be desired. The type okay. of food that I eat. Okay, what kind of a dietary trip were you on? Just a healthy one. <laughs> vegetarian vegetarian yeah, diet? Yeah, I'm a vegetarian. Okay. Uh, I try and avoid additives. Uh, sugar, I try ordinarily don't eat any sugar, mm -hmm. starch. Um, so really is a, a health food kind of diet, vegetarian. So the newspapers have said, with what validity I don't know, that you have at times used drugs very heavily. That you have been on hundreds of acid trips or something thing. like that. Mm -hmm. The news media loves to say that. Yeah. That's not true. Tell me about your drug history, generally. During the late 60s, mm -hmm. when things were so radically changing and the young people were out in the streets, more or less, that's a short way to put it, mm -hmm. um, I experimented with lysergic acid, LSD, mm -hmm. uh, and marijuana. I have never taken any cocaine. I've never tried heroin. I've never had any kind, I've never had a red in my life, which is what they call a red, it's a depressant or something. Mm -hmm. Bright reds, yellows, yeah. rainbows, two of those. I've never had any desire to uh, go down. Okay. What effect did you get out of the acid? What effect? Yeah, what, what did it do to you, psychically? 
Oh, that would be a long, long explanation. Well, in not too great detail. I'll tell, I'll tell you <laughs> that it, it hasn't impaired me in any way. Mm -hmm. I became aware of the possibilities of different realities as seen through different eyes, as seen through the, the Chicanos, for example. I went mm -hmm. down in the, uh, I, I traveled in my mind into their world in East Los Angeles. And then I traveled into the ghetto and I traveled into high society and uh, like that. I looked into the ways that people view the world. How many trips would you estimate you had? A hundred? Fifty? Twenty? No, I wouldn't say a hundred. I would say maybe thirty. Okay. But I don't think that much. Okay. Have they had any legal difficulty at all? No. You've kind of ended up being the black sheep. I don't know what they're calling me now. Well, I mean, you're the one that's had problems, uh, at least as far as society is concerned. As far as they're concerned, yes. Okay. The problem child, in their eyes. Are mom and dad living? Now, does this go on the record, that I'm the problem child? Oh, Don't you understand the so. inference of that type of statement? Well, I'll put it in brackets to indicate that's my word. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, we're, we're talking now, remember what I just said, from my parents' viewpoint. Right. Right? right. Well, we're not talking from my right. viewpoint. Yeah. Well, my comment here was patient is seen as the problem child, not that you are the problem child. That you understand that they see you that way. We have a, we have a very... Actually, I think it's a unique understanding, mm -hmm. my uh, parents and I. Rather than viewing me even as a problem child, they accepted the fact that I wished to be independent. Mm -hmm. And they actually literally uh, allowed me to do what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I was going to say cut me off, but they... they uh, didn't do it too severely. The time you were charged with something and the trial didn't come off, what were you charged with then? Dissuasion of a witness. Why was it dropped, Lynn? The It was not dropped. The original charge was attempted murder. Mm -hmm. This was a case where a girl allegedly received a hamburger with LSD in it. Mm -hmm. uh, she allegedly received the hamburger in Hawaii, and at that time I was in the States. Mm -hmm. uh, but this was brought as a conspiracy, and due to the Tate LaBianca trial that was going on, it was going to pass through uh, mm -hmm. with publicity. Uh -huh. Consequently, uh, I accepted a disposition. Isn't that what you call it? Would you plead guilty and do some time or something? No contender. I wouldn't plead guilty, <coughs> okay. but I did plead no contender. And uh, received three months from the county jail. At the present time, Lynn, the, the charges against you are that you acted all by your lonesome, right? That's right. So there's not going to be some kind of uh, allegation, as far as you know, that you're still a tool of the family or something like that. No. To get these, get the president. I feel like I ought to ask something about your relationship with Manson and the family, not in any detail, but again, I'm aware that there have been, you know, all kinds of allegations in the press that, you know, it was a really what crazy, hedonistic trip. Right. This is um, people's desires and fantasies. Yeah. This is another thing that I'm under. 
that he's under. Can you, can you give me just a brief overview of your relationship with Manson and the family and so that I can say I covered it in case anyone asks? <laughs> Who would ask? Well, I don't know, but I'm sure, you know, much of all of this has been seen at times by people as though this was an extension of certain beliefs on your part that got started at the time when you were with the family and so forth. Um, I don't know who would ask. It just seems like it's a very big chunk in your life between 18 and the present time that I don't really know anything about from your own lips as to how your, your life went mm -hmm. in the intervening eight years. And that again would take a great deal of explanation because of what you've read. Yeah, well, I'm not assuming that anything I've read is accurate, rest assured. But can you kind of give me a synopsis of what happened between 18 and now? Is that possible? 